right, so here is this defensively gifted fighter and certainly has some offense as well, but more often than not, that offense is set up by his sound defense. He uses movement beautifully, uses his defense to create offensive angles. This guy can stick and move with the best of the man, and even when you think you have him in a bad position, more often than not, swivels that head off of the center line and counters you right in the jaw. So an outstanding defensive striker, very good counterattacks, and a very interesting matchup in front of him tonight. One thing to look out for from him is his low kicks. He throws them with devastating power, and if you can't defend against them, he will kick the legs right out from under you. It doesn't take too many before you start to lose speed and punching power. Yes, here he is, the founder of Jeet Kune Do, and as Dana White calls him, the father of modern mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee making the walk tonight. You can make the argument no man has had as much of an influence on UFC fighters as Bruce Lee has. Quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. Man, it would have been great to see what Bruce Lee could have done inside the UFC. He is making the walk tonight. This guy has ridiculous hand speed. If this fight comes to a striking exchange, he will have a distinct advantage. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live! from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting from Bucharest, Romania, live. And now, the opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Ruth. The Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a Red long fight. time. And it Red. is going to go down Good. right now. And we are underway. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles, just absurd. And a hard guy to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. And there's a nice knee to the body. All right, first round is underway, and you know what to look out for here. The powerful overhand punches. That is a big part of his game plan. Every time he makes this walk, it is his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home for it early tonight. And he connects there. He's posturing up here. Nice hammer fist. Fighters get up now. That landed. Good defense there. Three minutes remain in the round. Slips that left hand. 
Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. And there's that inside leg kick, Joe. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Misses again with a right punch. Oh, tagged him. Kick to the body. Oh. Oh. He is rocked. Oh, straight right. That goes in and secures the takedown. He moves from full guard to half guard now. Big he body shot. He moves into side control. And busy as he looks to improve position here. One minute to go here in the opening round. He's looking to take the back. 45 seconds remain in the round. He's got his back here, looking for the rear naked choke. He's got him flattened out. He wants to get one arm underneath the neck. Trying to work that arm under the neck for the choke. He's got it. He's got the arm under the neck now. He wants to get it underneath the chin. He rolls him over. Oh, and my God. Will do it. Round was almost over, but he sunk in the submission and got the victory. Right, I mean, how do you not admire the focus of this young fighter? You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And candidly, Joe, I'm not sure this night could have gone any better. He did have some doubters coming in. He said, I got to mute those naysayers. And they're not going to keep quiet unless I can actually get this guy out of there. So mission accomplished. No judges necessary tonight.